Hey everyone, I'm Dan Plezak and welcome to MLB The Show. We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Minnesota Twins. And that'll bring in the middle infielder, Cattell Marte. And we are set for baseball here this evening. First pitch on its way. 
for Pig. Seven o'clock. Now a big fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. Back up the middle and in for a base hit. So the leadoff man reaches base to start out the first. That second. The right fielder, number two, David Peralta. At the plate now, David Peralta, as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Barrios has made a name for himself as a starter that simply misses the barrel of the bat. He rarely allows a large number of hits, and he does a pretty good job of keeping the ball in the ballpark when the hitters do make contact. On to first, and they get them both. Now at the plate, Eduardo Escobar will swing it from the left side right here. Well, this isn't his more accomplished side. As a general rule, he's a much better hitter from the right side, but they're looking for him to come through here, swinging the bat left-handed. Bases are empty here with two men out. Chased a low ball there, and he's quickly down in the count 0-2. And he fouls this one off. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Stepping into the box, Brian Reynolds. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The designated hitter, Brian. Now the pitch. A ball and no strikes. Who pulled the string and had him way out in front, a ball and a strike. Two and one now to the Twins leadoff man. And it's two balls and two strikes now. I know he stole a strike right there, but he wants to get that curveball down or he's going to get hurt. And a half swing that time, but it's a full swing in the eyes of the umpire, and that'll be the first out of the inning. So the base is empty here with one away, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Max Kepler. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Going to be a long day if he executes like this, punching tickets right out of the gate. There's a fastball pretty close that time, but ruled a ball one and one. Here it comes. Oh, that's good. That's lifted the other way out to left. Margo's under it, two gone. Standing in, Eddie Rosario. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Waved at and missed, and he's behind 0 and 2. Two out, nobody on. And they'll try and tempt him with one in the dirt, but he'll hold back here. It's one and two. Well, that's a smart miss there. Sometimes guys will chase it down there, especially when they're in protect mode on an 0-2 count. This is pulled into right. Peralta is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Second inning set to go, and that will bring up the power bat of Edwin Encarnacion. Edwin First offering on its way. Now a swing and a miss as they start him out on a pitch well inside for strike one. And he'll look at a fastball just off the black and it's even at one.
who jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Fouled off. Another full count pitch home. Line toward right center. And that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. That is it. The first baseman, Jose Martinez. Stepping in now, Jose Martinez. This ball's hit in the air down the right side and out of play. 0-1. Oh and two the count to Jose Martinez Martinez is playing first base today even though he's typically thought of as an outfielder nothing in two count and the pitch nope, Encarnacion gets his lead at first nobody out. Swing and a little blooper to center. In comes Kepler, but he won't get there. It falls in. That is it. The second baseman, Yandi Diaz. And that will bring in Yandi Diaz. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Great pitch in that situation. If he makes contact on that one, more than likely he's hitting into a double play. Working for the punch out and the offering. Got him. Fooled on the pitch as he swings at it in the dirt for strike three. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. The catcher. Carson Kelly. Here's the first pitch to him. And he gets ahead 0-1. Awesome execution right there. Great pitcher's pitch and an excellent job to get ahead in a tough spot. Hit down the third baseline. A dive, but he can't make the play, and it's down the left field line. And not in time as the run scores. The left and, uh, and that'll bring up Manuel Margo. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. Strike two as the fastball is fouled off to the right. Nothing in two. Margo is a very well regarded defensive outfielder. It used to be that fielders were evaluated mostly by the eyeball test and simple stats like fielding percentage, but of course, these days there are many more advanced ways that help determine a guy's work in the field, and in his case, he shines in many ways. You know, Matty, for me, I think he does pass the eyeball test. I know you have to look at all the numbers and the analytics to really appreciate a ball player like this, but man, does he come to work every day and play hard. First pitch coming, here it is. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. 
Great job by the pitcher right there to pull the string. He knew he had an aggressive hitter at the plate, somebody who was sitting on fastball and ready to do damage, and he was able to slow him down right there and get him off balance. Now a fastball as he just reared up and let that one fly, and the inning is... Bottom of the inning now, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Miguel Sano. The first baseman, Miguel. Here's the pitch. And he's way off balance with the swing there. Hey, newsflash, think he was guessing, boys? Because that was an ugly swing right there. Shot toward right center. Uh, this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out. Ready now, Mitch Garver. Mitch Garver. Pitch on the way. One out, nobody on. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Boy, so far early into this one, this guy's pitching really well. And I'm a big believer in body language. He's getting the ball. He's working really quick, keeping the ball down in the zone. And if you take a look at this guy so far early on, a lot of positive signs. He looks like he brought his good stuff in this one. Got him to miss the breaking ball there. Mitch Garver goes down for the second out in the bottom half. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Top of the third set to get underway, and stepping up as the shortstop, Patel Marte. First pitch of the at bat on its way. 0 and 1 the count. Pitch on the way. Outside for a ball, 1 and 1. Starts to go around here, but it doesn't matter. This is strike two anyway. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And he makes the throw to first. Marte is retired, and there's one away. So striding in, David Peralta, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a drive to right by Peralta. This one's got some carry. Kepler looks up. Gone! Up next to the diamond ball, the third baseman, Eduardo, Eduardo Escobar standing in. As he'll try to hold back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's got to be more disciplined here. It's 0-2. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners locked in, and now he's raising eye levels to boot. And a good two-strike pitch, but he misses high 1-2. and two. He tried to climb the ladder right there, and I don't blame him. Now he's got those sights elevated. Don't be surprised with something off speed in the dirt. And a swing and a miss, and another punch out here. Six already, and that's out number two. Edwin Encarnacion to the plate now. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. Now a check swing, but he holds up in time. Ball one. Swing and a hard liner to center field. Buxton is there, and he'll make the catch to retire this. Bottom of the third now, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Josh Donaldson. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. And that misses inside 1-0. Yanked on the ground down the line, but a foul ball, 1-1. One and one. Here's the pitch. 
to short. Marte fields it cleanly, and he's retired here one away. So stepping in, Luis Arias. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Oh, Now here's the pitch. Down the first baseline, but a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Pitch on the way. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. Now with the plate, Byron Buxton. Batting nine, the center fielder, Byron Buxton. First pitch of the at bat. Way behind that pitch, it's 0 and 1. As this game progresses, I don't think he's going to want to miss in that spot down the middle of the plate much more. It's early. They're a little less aggressive right now, so he's able to get away with it. Behind 0 and 2 now. Drops one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. That lands foul, and he's down on strikes for the second out of the inning. Digging in for his second at bat, Brian Reynolds looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. From the stretch. Down on the shins and missed with it. Ball one. That one's going to find the seats. Strike one. Reynolds, a 25 year old, he's in his rookie year here at the big league level. Now the one and one pitch. Oh, left out. A runner on first with two away. Cut fastball that time, but he doesn't bite, and now it's three and one. No reason to sit on anything other than hard stuff in a location you like and drive it right now. And he likely had ball four that time, but couldn't hold back on the swing, so that moves the count to three and two now. And now in advance of a big three and two pitch, time is called at the plate as he'll press the reset button. Lifted the other way to left center. Center fielder giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Ball set for the start of the inning, and here comes the first baseman, Jose Martinez. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. And a fastball is in there for strike one. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Fastball strike three called on the outside corner, and a pretty generous corner at that, as that's the first down of the inning. Stepping up to the plate, Yandy Diaz. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Stepping up now, Carson Kelly looking to follow up the RBI single from his first at bat. Swing and a miss on the slur. Strike one. Out in front as he grounds this one to short. Reined in. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And standing in the outfielder, Max Kepler. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this will be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. First pitch coming. Here it is. Oh, had him chopping at that one. It's nothing in one. Ugh, is that ugly? You could probably throw anything out there to this guy. He'd swing at the Raza bag if you throw it up there. And it's fouled away. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. 
half swing here, but it won't matter. It's strike three called anyway, and that's out number one. Ready for another chance? Eddie Rosario. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. The next twin up, Miguel Sano. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. First delivery to him on the way. And he misses inside with that one. Ball one. Hey, a two-out walk right here would be the tying run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. Two balls and no strikes to Miguel Sano. Hit the other way out toward right field. It's in there, and the Twins look to have an extra base hit on their first hit of the game. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. The catcher, number eight, Mitch Garver. In now, Mitch Garver. He'll swing and lift a ball fouled off to the left and out of play. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Tying run at the plate, the 0 1. At the ball. There is a base open here, so the option to work around it is there if they want to go that route. 1 1. In the dirt here. Oh, and he'll make it back to second, but that had danger written all over it. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. Here's one that barely misses off the inside corner. Two and two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over. Into the box now, Manuel Margo. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Ball one to start the at-bat. That evens it up, one and one. Fouled off again, and now he's in a one and two hole. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Got him. And that's eight strikeouts now for him in the ballgame. At the plate, Tim LaCastro. Here's the first pitch to him. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Slurb swung on and missed there. It's one and one. Bat explodes as this has popped up. And he'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play for out number two. At the plate, Cattel Marte. One for two with a base hit back in the first inning of play. Hit back up the middle. Fielded cleanly. Off balance throw gets him. Nice play there as the side is retired. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And that'll bring up the switch hitting shortstop. Jorge Polanco. Here comes the first pitch. Tried to check it and it's 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. This offense has just been flailing at the plate all game long, so it's no wonder why they've only been able to pick up one hit so far. I'm not seeing much of a game plan from these hitters. Diaz has a play. 
Makes the play one away. So one away here with the bases empty. And here's Donaldson. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. No runs, just one hit, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. That's in there, and he's deep in the hole now, 0-2. His command has been outstanding so far, hitting nearly all of the spots, and that's been a big factor why he's been so successful up to this point. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. The 0-2 once more. Now that's popped up. Martinez has room in foul territory, and that's the second out of the inning. Digging in, Luis Reyes was plunked with a pitch in his first trip to the plate. Yeah, Matty, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. Scooped up, and he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Now in the box, David Peralta comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. Yeah, that last at bat, Daddy, he turned that fastball around. He didn't hit it a ton. He didn't hit it a country mile. But hey, listen, a home run is a home run. First pitch on its way. Lifted in the air to center. Buxton is there, and he has it for the first out. Into the box, Eduardo Escobar, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. He's staring a hat trick in the face right now after that swing. He has just got to find a way to zone up a little bit more. You cannot expect to make solid contact chasing stuff outside the zone. Bases are empty, one man out. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Now back. So two away for the D-backs here in the sixth. And that will bring up the power bat of Edwin Encarnacion. Weak grounder down the line at third. But this is foul for the first strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. No contact there from Encarnacion as the count runs to 0-2 on him. Yeah, if he's going to pound the zone with this stuff all game, the offense better step up. Somebody's going to have to pull a trigger a little bit earlier in the count. And he will strike him out. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring up the speedy outfielder Byron Buxton. Merrill Kelly enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Now pitching for the bottom. Number 29, Merrill Kelly. First pitch coming. Here it is. Sends that one out of play for strike one. Ball one. Rounded back up the middle. And that'll get on through into center field, so he's got himself a leadoff single. The batter, number 10, designated hitter, Brian. Into the box now, Brian Reynolds. Hit in the air down the right field line. After it is Peralta. He gets there to make the play for the first out of the inning. But he's safe at first as he gets back in time. So a runner at first now with one away. And that'll bring up the outfielder, Max Kepler. From the belt, the pitch. And this one's in the dirt. And no advance. It's ball one. Runner at first here, one man out. He's 
going, he's going. There goes Buxton. That's a strike to throw down. He is not in time as he just gets in ahead of the throw. The 1-1. One, one. Now a swing as he foul tips it here and oh, right off his arm behind the plate. That hurts. Yeah, you could tell he was ready for another fastball, but the pitcher went to breaking ball and the hitter just fouls that one off. In the dirt. Throw goes over to third, and he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. A man at third with one away. Fouled away. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Another try at 2-2. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Goes the other way, and this is in the air out to left. In comes Margo. He makes the running play. Two down. And even with two away now, that ball just didn't get out there deep enough, so they'll hold him at third base. Eddie. So coming to the plate, Whoa, Eddie Rosario, oh runner in scoring position with Sugan. First pitch on its way. Hey, hey I don't have a problem with him oh, taking a pitch yeah. right there. It's a good opportunity to see what he's got. Also a good opportunity to see if he's going to be pounded in the strike zone. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. One out away from stranding that runner on third. So the last thing you want to do is throw a wild pitch and let him score. Nice job there by the catcher to knock that one down. pop up Diaz waits on it and that ends the inning seventh inning ready to roll and up next will be the right-handed hitting Jose Martinez Jose Martinez Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. And here's a ball out towards straightaway center field. Center fielder on the run. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first out. Second base. Striding in once again, Yandi Diaz. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Rosario is there. And he makes the catch for the second out. Now to the plate, Carson Kelly. One for two in the ballgame thus far. First pitch on its way. Two out, nobody on. Swing and a miss, it's 0 and 2. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Here's Miguel Sano. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. No balls and a strike to count. The windup and the 0 1. Curveball. Swing and a miss, and he's behind in the count 0 and 2. Tying run stands on deck, but it'll only matter if the guy in the box can get on base. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy behind him a chance to be the guy. 
Lo Castro. Patrolling center makes the play one out. Stepping in, Mitch Garver. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Here it comes. Oh, got him to swing out of his shoes on that one. Nothing in two. Swing and a miss on the breaking pitch. Two away. Ready for another yeah, shot man. now. Or hit Polanco. First pitch of the at bat. Pops this one up. Escobar in foul ground. And this is going to wind up a foul ball. 0 and 1 count and the pitch. Now a swing and a ball popped in the air back behind short. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring up the versatile center fielder, Manuel Margot. Manuel Margot. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Now a swing and a deep drive to left. Looking up is Rosario, and that's a home run into the top tank. The center fielder, number 16, Tim McCastro. Standing in now, Tim LeCastro. As the first pitch to him is swung on and missed for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. Looking to punch him out again, the pitch. Uh, and he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ballgame. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in to tell Marte. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Liner towards second, and that's into the outfield for a one out base hit. At the plate, David Peralta, and he fouls this one off. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. Runners on first with one down. Stays alive, still 0 and 2. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Rosario comes on now and puts it away for the second out of the inning. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And that'll bring up Eduardo Escobar. From the belt. Kicks and deals. All one, no strike. Two out with the man at first. Fouled off. One and two, here it comes. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Looking up is the center fielder. To the track, to the wall, and that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. The batter, the designated hitter, Ed Sergio Romo, enters the ball game out of the pen, looking for the final out here in the top of inning number eight.
Edwin Encarnacion now. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. With this one almost in the books, the story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Matty V, I don't know what your thoughts are, d -Roll, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better pitches. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, on their ability to get that. Swing and a long drive again. This one to deep center. And it's out of here. Back-to-back, -back, two out home runs. Next to the diamond at the plate the now, big Jose big Martinez. Big as big he'll big take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. He's working on a one for three thus far. Swing and a liner. Foul. Four runs here in this half inning. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Romo. 37 years old. He throws a slider, a changeup, a sinker, and a four seamer. Oh, could it be three in a row? But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Now batter. Second base. Yandy Diaz. To the plate now, Yandy Diaz. And he popped him up. In comes Kepler. He can't get to it. This one's down. And now it'll kick around in the corner. And the route is officially underway. It is seven to nothing. Up next to the diamond bat, the catcher, Carson Kelly. In now, Carson Kelly. Just gets a piece of it. Strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. And strike three there as they'll finally work out of the inning as the side is retired. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And that brings up the former American League MVP, Josh Donaldson. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. Behind 0-2 now. Curveball got him swinging for the first down. Striding in, Luis Arias. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Started to go around there, but he holds up ball one. One out, nobody on. Pulled toward right center field. Diaz onto the grass. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now Here's Byron Buxton field. now. He singled Byron. in two trips to the plate thus far. First delivery to him on the way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. LoCastro is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Up next for Arizona, Manuel Margo. He's coming off a solo homer in his previous trip. Yeah, in his last at bat, he hit a changeup out for a home run. So it'll be interesting this A.B. to see if they give him a steady diet of fastballs. Cody Stashak enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. The pitch. And we kick off the ninth inning with a swinging strike here. Nothing in one. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. I think it's safe to say he wasn't ready for the fastball. 
Wow, was he behind that fastball. Great job on the mound using the curveball to set up the heater. And they could go either way now, I suppose. Here comes another 0 2. He struck him out the third time he's fanned in the game. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Tim LoCastro. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Hit on the ground to third. On to first, and there were two down. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Cattell Marte. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Now the pitch. And it's fouled away. Oh one, here's the pitch. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Shot back up the middle. So he'll add one to his total as that falls in. He's got three hits in this one. Good work in a pitcher's count to get on base and keep the inning alive. David Peralta. Stepping in now, David Peralta, as he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a 1 for 4 day. Gets the fastball by him here, and he's in control, 0 and 2. Go to that well one more time. He's been late on the first two. Still no balls and two strikes. The 0 2 once more. Fouled away. A runner on first with two away. Hit out towards second. He's got it. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And next, it'll be the outfielder, Brian Reynolds. The designated hitter, Brian. First pitch on its way. Laid off the bender there, but it's in for a called strike. Hey, there's an old saying in baseball, you need to take a strike in this spot. Well, he got one there. Now he just needs to find a way to get on. One ball, one strike, the count. Line towards center field, and Reynolds has himself a base hit. So the leadoff man is aboard to start out the inning. Up next to the play, the right field. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat as it's on the ground toward the hole. Marte for one. Back to first, a ninth inning double play, and they're an out away from closing this one out. So base is empty now after the double play, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Eddie Rosario. And he gets a piece here as this ball is fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. Reined in on to first, and that is going to conclude the festivities here tonight. A 7 0 shutout final score tonight. Arizona took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end.